You want to sit on my lap while we do it? You want to sit on Mama's lap while we film? You can sit on me. Bentley likes to chew things up when he doesn't get enough attention, including all of my favorite clothes. So he needs a little extra special attention. You jumping? Okay. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and scroll on down and subscribe to my channel. I do upload three times a week. They are all beauty related. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So I have to tell you that this is a drugstore haul. And I went out shopping today with the intentions of only buying brand new products for 2016 because they seem to be popping up on YouTube all over the place and I was like shoo if everybody's getting them I need to get my hands on some of these because they look bomb.com so I went out shopping and <laughs> couldn't find anything literally I found like three or four of the brand new products that are out for 2016 but everything else I guess just hasn't shown up to San Diego yet, which I don't really understand why. Like, one of the biggest things I was looking for is all of the brand new products out from Wet n Wild, and I found it very odd that they are popping up on the East Coast and are out in all of the drugstores over there, but in a place called San Diego, which is just about an hour and a half south of where Wet n Wild is manufactured, they aren't showing up. Needless to say, I was a little frustrated. But, nevertheless, out in my fun little adventures, I went to like seven different drugstores and still picked up a bunch of stuff. Not necessarily anything fun and cool. Um, I think one item was a repurchase for me, but everything else is brand new things that I have never tried. But, yeah. So, let's jump into it. I just dumped it all into this Rite Aid bag um, to help condense it and keep it all together. So... I'll start off with the one item I did repurchase, and this is the Wet n Wild Under the Sheets Makeup Removing Towelettes. Here's what they look like. They come in this nice little package, um, of course just with the little flap that sticks down. These are wonderful. They are not scratchy on the skin. They're nice and soft and smooth, and they really do remove all of my makeup, even like waterproof mascara and waterproof eyeliner. They work really well. Um, I do have other products that I use to help get rid of my eye makeup, so I don't really focus it on there. Um, I mainly use these every day just to remove my face makeup, and all my foundation comes off so nice, so clean, um, and it doesn't leave a sticky residue at all either, so if that's something that, like sometimes when I go to the gym, I just like to take off my makeup, um, at least just like my foundation and stuff, so that when I sweat it doesn't, like, I don't know, it just gives like this weird feeling on my skin if I have foundation on and I'm sweating. I don't know how to describe it. So I'll just take these and I'll wipe that off and be good to go. Um, the next product is from Rimmel. It's the Stay Matte Primer. I have never tried this, but I found a lot of people with really oily skin love it because it is extremely affordable, let me tell you that. And it really does keep your foundation matte throughout the day. Um, and really just makes your skin feel nice and hydrated. So, I have really oily skin, and I do find that if my skin, if the oils don't start, start showing through during the day, I can definitely tell that my foundation is, like, starting to slide, especially, like, up here in my T-zone along my nose, and it really starts to break out here around on my nose as well and just slides around, starts falling off, so I hope this will help it stay in place. And I'm super excited. The next thing I have are a few Wet n Wild products. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. Here is what it looks like. Um, these were on clearance. I'm guessing that they are just getting rid of them for 2016 and bringing in something else. Um, I am in love with Wet n Wild because their products have improved so much over the past couple of years that they are more like a normal drugstore. They aren't very like cheaply, poorly made anymore. I will say their packaging 
is not fantastic. Um, that is definitely one area that Wet n Wild ends up saving a lot of money is by their packaging, but I'm okay with that. At least it looks sleek, you know? It may not feel extremely high-end, but the packaging typically looks really nice. Um, let me try and open this. So, yeah, Wet n Wild definitely saves a ton of money by kind of skimping out on the quality of their packaging, but the products on the inside have definitely improved a lot throughout the couple of years. So this one, you just open it up. Like I said, this one's really popular. Um, it does have a little poof at the bottom, which I don't really use, but it is just a nice um, transparent powder that obviously you can see already goes to transparent just when you swatch it. So definitely does not give a white cast on your face, which is really nice. Um, and a nice transparent setting powder is always handy and I love to go for really nice affordable ones. The next product I have from Wet n Wild is their Take on the Day eyeshadow primer from Fergie. This is also a product that was being clearanced out. Um, actually what I noticed is that a lot of the Fergie products are on clearance right now and like I said they in retail, you clearance products out to make room for brand new ones that are coming out for like next year or whatever. So I'm kind of wondering if the Fergie line is being discontinued through Wet n Wild. I'm not sure because their products are really good in the Fergie line and I would hate to see it go. Um, and if they are getting rid of it, they better replace it with something amazing because come on, who doesn't love Fergie? Plus her name sells so well. But anyway, so it does just come in this nice little tube, um, really sleek packaging. It's like I hear extremely good things about this, and of course when you rub it on you can't even see it on my hand. So yeah, like I said, I hear great things about it, but I've never tried this so I thought it would be fun since apparently it's going away. And the next thing I have from Wet n Wild is this Comfort Zone eyeshadow palette. Here's what it looks like. This is also a really popular item on YouTube, actually, for people who love drugstore and love Wet n Wild products. This is a very hot commodity. Um, and I can just tell you, at this, I work at Target, and the Target that I work at, this product is always sold out. So, yeah, that tells you how much people love it. But the quality of eyeshadows from Wet n Wild are amazing. Amazing. And this palette is just so unique, I think. I don't know. Something just draws me to it, and I've been putting off buying it for so long, and I'm not entirely sure why. Because it is just so nice. And apparently I can't open any packages today. I'm having a real, having a real hard time opening everything today. So it does come with this little brush that has a sponge on one side and a brush on the other. I will not use this, I'm just gonna end up throwing that away. But here is what it looks like. So it basically gives you two, like, four shadow palettes. Um, this one is definitely a little more smoky, you got your green. And this one is just your natural colors, but I will swatch these for you. Just to show you, like, how good they actually are. Like. These four colors are on that smoky side, and this is what they look like. They are so nice and so pigmented. And these are not chalky eyeshadows at all. They are buttery and smooth and feel so good. And they're so nice and pigmented. And oh, I just cannot say enough about Wet n Wild eyeshadows. They are fabulous and amazing quality for the price. This palette was $4.97. $4.97 for eight eyeshadows that are tremendous, and really these colors are quite unique to Wet n Wild, so I understand why this is such a loved palette. So the next products I have are from Maybelline. The first one is this Adriwine um, Concealer, and this is what it looks like. This is in the shade Fair. Um, this is a, also a really hot commodity. Everybody on YouTube loves it. They don't use it a lot in videos, like I don't see it in a, a lot of tutorials, but I do see it in a lot of favorite videos. And like I said, this product is not new at all. It's been around forever. Most people don't like the foundation. 
from this line, but they love the concealer because it comes with, maybe like I said, I'm having a terrible time opening up any of the packaging today. Comes with this nice like circular poofy applicator and you just twist it up and the product gets absorbed into the sponge. Out and this is what it looks like. So it'll be the perfect color to match. Um, it helps prevent like wrinkles and dark circles on your under eyes. So I hear it's like fantastic for that. So I'm super excited. I think this may have been a new product for 2015. But everybody loves it so I thought I'd give it a shot. So this next one is one of the very few items that are brand new for 2016 that I could find and this is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Foundation? Foundation? Um, and here's what it looks like. Mine is in the shade 10 which is Porcelain Ivory. There is a one shade lighter than this which is just regular porcelain but that's a little too white for my skin tone. I'm a little more pinky than porcelain so I went with the Porcelain Ivory. And this stuff is amazing. Everybody is talking about this foundation already. Everybody loves it. And it is going to be a very hot and popular item for 2016. It goes along with the line. They have like a, a dream. I think they have a dream matte and a dream mousse foundation out already. So it goes along in the dream line of foundations but this one is a little different so it does come with the squeezy tube um, and it's supposed to give like a, a matte velvet finish at the same time it's supposed to hydrate your skin so we'll drop a little bit of it out there and it comes out kind of chunky but that's not really saying anything it's pretty thick I mean you can see it does not run down my skin at all right there so we'll just blend it in Ooh, I definitely used too much for swatching but you can tell like just blending it out it blends out nice and smooth it feels fabulous on the skin um, a lot of times when you swatch foundation you can tell that it's gonna be really drying but this stuff isn't but everybody says they love this it does have a special type of like applicator sponge that you can buy to go along with this. It's kind of like a beauty blender on a stick if that sounds weird. Like it has a handle to go with it. Um, I haven't heard very many good things about that. People don't like the way it works so I didn't bother buying it because I think it was like five or six bucks. Um, I just wanted to try out the foundation so yeah. I'm thinking about doing a like a first impressions tutorial with this, so let me know in the, in the comments below if that's something that you would like to see. Um, and then the next products are two mascaras from Revlon, and they are the brand new mascaras out for 2016. Revlon has, gosh, like, Revlon has like seven or eight brand new mascaras out. They're all along the same line. It's just like the different types. So one's made for like volume, one's made for length, and this, that, and the other thing you understand. So I got two of them, the two that really appealed to me. This is the Ultimate All-in-One Mascara, and it's in the shade 501 Blackest Black. So what really intrigued me about this one is the wand on it looks very different. So I'll read you what the packaging says. It says it's a high impact formula that delivers the ultimate five benefits in one. Volume, length, definition, lift, rich, intense color. So I felt like they were making a lot of claims with this, or with this mascara. So I had to try it and see if it actually does that. But, yeah, so here's what the packaging looks like. It's nice and sleek. This is like a matte velvet bottom, and then it has the plastic top on it. We'll open her up. Whoa. So just off of my first impression, this applicator is going to make one giant mess. Like, this is going to be a very messy mascara. But... First impressions aren't always the best. You definitely have to use things before you understand how they work. As you can see kind of on the packaging, like 
There are slits in the middle of the brush. And the back of the packaging kind of describes it. So it says, um, the Revlon Power Mini Brush, which is apparently what they call this thing. Which makes sense, because it is pretty small for a brush. Um, it says the unique mini oval shape for easy application. Um, hollow core design for depositing formula for the Mega Lash Impact. I don't know, we'll have to see. I've never seen anything like it, and this seems like the year of extremely weird mascara wands for everything that I've seen that's coming out, so. And the last one, thing I got in this haul is this other Revlon um, mascara. This is the Volume Length Magnified Mascara. Here's what it looks like. This is in the shade 301 Blackest Black. Um, so this one looks like a little bit more normal, but probably a simula similar form formulation as the last Revlon one, just with a different wand is kind of what I'm thinking. But it has the same exact packaging, just a blue top on it. And each type of mascara had a different colored top, but the same black bottom. That's a big brush. So that is what the brush looks like. So this one's supposed to do both magnify your lashes as well as provide length and volume. So we will see how this one works. This one seems a little more normal, like it'll work a little bit better, but like I said, we'll have to see how things go. You never know with a first impression of just looking at it. So that is all of the products I got here in my haul today. Um, like I said, if you want to see the first impression on that foundation or first impressions on the mascara or any type of video using these products, please just let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see those and I'd be more than happy to get those up here in the next week. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you guys later this week. Bye!